Hey everyone, welcome to Charts by Tradeway. My name is David Verbruggen. I am the director of Charts by Tradeway. Um, this is the first part of a three-part series or tutorial that is um, on your Charts by Tradeway platform. This is all designed to help you get up and running and uh, have at least a basic understanding of how the platform works, where things are, basically just getting you up and going so that you can start practicing trading. So we're just gonna dive right in right now. Um, when you load up your Charts by Tradeway platform for the first time, it'll probably look something similar to this. The colors are gonna be roughly what this is and everything. So we're just gonna go ahead and um, just look at some some basic things right now to get you familiar. At the top right, I wanna draw your attention to these tabs up here. There are several of them. We're only gonna really focus on two of them right now. Um, what we're on currently is called the home page, but in reality, most of our time is spent on the chart page. You can see here how you go to the research tab, just hover over it and then click on chart. Um, at, at Tradeway, this really is home base for us oftentimes. Um, and so you might see a chart pop up kind of like this, right? Now, the colors might be slightly different. I have some preset things already in there for coloring. Um, but here is kind of what you'll be looking at uh, on the chart. I also want to show you the watch tab. This is also an important one. If you click on watch, it'll bring you to the um, watch lists. And you can see all the different watch lists by coming to the top left here, clicking on the drop down menu. You can see there are several personal watch lists that I've created, and you'll be able to create those as well. We'll go over that later on. Um, and you'll see there's some system watch lists at the bottom right. I want to call your attention to those right now. Uh, where it says DM, that stands for David Mitchell. These are the watch lists that he looks at. So we have the David Mitchell stocks watch list. This will probably be the place that you're going to want to start. If you just went through step one, start your journey and learned about stock trading, um, these are watch or these are uh, stocks that have been vetted for fundamentals. And so you can pull out those 40, 50, 60 stocks. It's updated about monthly. Um, and you can start looking for pretty patterns on these stocks that are already vetted for fundamentals. Um, once you've gone through step two, we have David Mitchell options watch list. Um, steps three and four um, have the spreads. These are good for credit spreads, debit spreads. Again, just vetted for fundamentals at this point. Um, all the ones in the David Mitchell spreads list have weekly expirations available as well. Um, David Mitchell covered calls. There's also several... Um, tickers in there that could be considered for covered calls. So these, this is your watch tab. You've got your chart tab as well. Something else I want to draw your attention to up here is the help center. This is going to be a very helpful resource to you. Uh, a couple things you can do in here. There are a bunch of videos in the video library. Um, we produce, I've produced several as well, um, training videos, but there's even more in this video library. So feel free to check that out. And you can learn about this platform from the developers themselves. They have gone ahead and put together some training material for you as well. Uh, another thing I want to draw your attention to is support ticket. You may have a question about your platform at some point, and you're more than welcome to email in to us and, and ask your question. <laughs> Um, it might be something specific, though, like, huh, what's going on with my platform here? Why does it look this certain way? Um, the developers have the ability to actually look behind the curtain, if you will, um, and see what's going on, um, on with that platform. So this might be a good resource for you as well. Uh, I use this function all the time, and I've learned um, a tremendous amount of information about the platform simply by submitting support tickets also. All right, guys, well, let's just jump right in right now. So I'm going to come to the chart page, which kind of acts as our homepage, right? Um, and I just want to go over a few things. One of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a paper trading account, a virtual account, right? 
That's the whole point. We just want to start off paper trading um, so that we can practice. To do that, you need to come to the bottom left. Now, you can see here where it says Tradeway Paper Trading. Yours probably will say Accounts. Whatever that button is, click on it. You can see how I already have several accounts set up in here, um, most of them virtual accounts. Um, you're gonna, you might not see any in here right now. That's okay. You're going to go ahead and click the plus button. So add account. When you do that, you're going to have a few options. Come to the top here. Click the drop down menu. And you're going to select trade your virtual. That's the first one I want you to go ahead and set up right now is trade your virtual. Click the box. Hit continue. And now you can go ahead and name it whatever you want to name it. You can name it My Paper Trading. Um, you can name it anything. I'm going to leave it as Trade Your Virtual Account for now. You can also go ahead and select your identifying color. All right. Now I'm going to go with my favorite color right now, bright green. So I'm going to do that. But you can choose any color. You can see how I have some color coordinated on here just to kind of keep it straight in my head. And you can go ahead and add that account. There we go. We have added this trade your virtual account and um, Tradeway has given you $100,000 of Monopoly money. That's right. We're going to go ahead and let you start off with $100,000 of um, play money so that you can practice your trading. I want to draw your attention to the top right here. Um, first, you want to make sure, and this should be defaulted this way, but you want to make sure that auto journal this account is turned on. You want to make sure that that is done so that you can have all your trades automatically journaled so you can look back and see how things have been going. Also, go ahead and click this on account notifications. Um, this is a little bit for the future more, but if you have earnings reports coming up, if you have options expirations coming up, dividends coming up, any of those things, you will get an account notification and you will get emailed of these things coming up soon so that you are aware of them. So this is how we set up our virtual account, our paper trading account. Now, if you're ready to set up a real account, the process is very similar. You would come to the plus button, click on it. You would select maybe a trade your real account. You would click the box. You would hit continue. It'll have you log in with your username password. And then it'll bring in the account into um, your account tabs here. And you'll be able to see it and be able to trade from your real account through Charts by Tradeway. All right. Uh, I want to go ahead and now look over a few of the ways we can customize a view. You can see how our chart here is a little bit on the small side. I like to go ahead and just grab this and just pull it down. Frankly, I pull it all the way down to there. I like a big chart. This is how I want to see my screen. So this is what I like. Um, another thing I want to mention, I've seen where some people, um, they are zoomed in too much or maybe zoomed out too much. So on a Mac, if you hit Command and then the plus or minus, or on a PC, if you hit control and then plus or minus, you can zoom in or you can zoom out. This is about where I like it. Go ahead and play with it for yourself. Again, that's command plus or minus for the Mac or control plus or minus for the PC. And then you can zoom in and out as necessary. Now, I believe everyone's defaults to a white background. Um, you can set it up however you want. If you click on your name, you can go ahead and select from different themes. Light theme is what it's currently set to. Um, if you do dark theme, it'll bring you now back to the, the actual home page, right, where we start off, and this is what that will look like. Um, you can do a pink theme if you want to, you know, kind of be funny with it. I personally enjoy the high contrast dark theme best. So this is, this is what I like. This is what I am 
used to. And I have things set up so that looks nicely with my chart. So if I come back to the chart, uh, let me get rid of these lines. You won't see those yet. So this is now what we are looking at on the chart. All right, a couple other customization things we can do. Several people have asked, how do I get the space on the right? You know, we want to be able to draw our lines into the future. You can see our time frames up here. Um, currently, it's set on a six-month daily chart. So I have six months of time. Each candlestick is a day. Um, this is kind of home for me. You can hit the plus button, and you can select other time frames, and you can extend. I like to extend the chart 30 days. Again, it'll whenever I make that change, it'll bring those lines up that I had previously drawn. Um, now, it might say clean start at the top right here for your profile. There are several default profiles in here. And these top four you can see are or really the three are going to be um, the David Mitchell settings that he likes to use. So if you want to just use a, a simple 10, 20, and 50 EMA, if you don't know what that is yet, that's okay. Don't worry about that. Um, you can get that set up here. You can also add additional indicators by clicking on here and adding in whatever you'd like. So maybe in addition to the 10, 20, and 50, you want to go ahead and add stochastics down below. You can see we have upper indicators, which will show on the chart itself. So those will be EMAs, volume, for example. And if I go down, you have lower indicators as well. So if I want to go ahead and choose stochastics, I'm just going to add that in here. All of a sudden, now I have the stochastics down below as well. Now, once you have things set up the way you like, you need to save your chart profile. Otherwise, when you log out, come back in, then my stochastics, for example, will be gone. So I'm going to go ahead and click this down arrow button, save chart profile. And I can call it whatever I want. Um, I might just call it new chart profile for now. And I'm going to save that. Again, don't forget to save it because otherwise it will not um, stay there. Now you may be asking, hey, how do I change the colors of the candlesticks? Maybe you're not liking what that is. Let's click on the gear icon here. And there are several things we can do. On the annotations, I can change the color of the lines that we might draw. On the charts, I can change the colors of the candlesticks. So you can change the outline of the candlestick and the fill color of the candlestick. Some of you initially may have the tool tips on. And that would be this a box that follows you. Some people like that. Some people find that annoying. If that's annoying to you, click on the gear icon, come to charts, unclick tool tips, and then hit save. I'll show you a couple other things in here real quick. Uh, position orders. Once you put in a position, you can get some lines to draw onto the chart itself. And events, you can see things on the bottom here, uh, like earnings, dividends, and splits. So I'm not going to dive into every single thing. You know, part of this is, hey, jump in there, play with it, see what you like, right? See what you like. But I just want to show you where those things were so that you know how to find them. And then whatever you do, remember to save your chart profile. <laughs>